One of the reasons why when I felt the lump in the shower, I just immediately knew it was breast cancer is because two of my mom's sisters have had breast cancer in the past. One, she died in Jamaica. The other one we heard about later on, and she's alive, but me and my mom's youngest sister, who was closer to my age, we used to talk about it all the time and just wonder like if it would hit us, how would we go about that? Hi, I'm Shanae Craig and I was diagnosed with stage two breast cancer. I was diagnosed with breast cancer in 2022 and I was 31 years old. I had just gone through a really rough year, hired a cleaning lady to clean my room because depression room. And she left and I felt like really refreshed and just like excited. I went in the shower, decided I was gonna exfoliate my whole body that night, as everyone should. And as I got to my breast area, I felt something and I just dropped my arms and I was like, of course. Like everything just came to a halt. Like I just knew what it was. I already at that point told myself in my mind, I'm like preparing myself. I'm like, you're gonna lose your hair and you're gonna lose your breasts. Breast cancer is a plague, a plague on women of this country. What really it is, is normal cells that are gained abnormal ability to spread from their primary site, the breast. The cause of breast cancer actually isn't exactly known detail for detail. We do know that it's associated with estrogen because women are more likely to get it than men. But there are probably other multitude of factors that influence whether a normal breast cell becomes a cancer cell. Things such as genetic factors, what you inherit from your family, as well as environmental factors, stress, lack of sleep, the types of foods you eat, the things you're exposed to. Probably a combination of that as in many cancers. Breast cancer is probably a result of many factors. Some of the signs and symptoms that can happen with breast cancer are, are varied actually. There's no one single golden sign, if you will, for breast cancer. It could be anything that changes in the breast. So if there's a mass that you didn't feel before, if there's any redness in the breast, or if the skin of the breast looks like the peel of an orange, or if the nipple is inverted, um, these are things that can raise an alarm for breast cancer. Is it absolutely breast cancer? No, more studies and testing needs to be done, but any change in your normal breast exam should prompt a visit to a healthcare provider to evaluate for any breast cancer. My birthday was November 8th. I had to do a biopsy November 9th. I got diagnosed on November 18th, and I think I had an appointment at Memorial Sloan Kettering the next week. My mom went with me, and two of my closest friends rotated going to appointments just because I was just in a trance, like not really there. But I was also just very on go mode because in my mind, like we have to get it done. Like I don't know what else there is to do. So they said, all right, you would be doing chemo, then surgery, then radiation. There was also the option to freeze my eggs because chemo and all of the treatments and stuff would mess with your ovaries. And the kind of breast cancer I had was triggered by estrogen. So the best option for me would be to freeze my eggs. So we had to just immediately start the process of freezing my eggs, which meant giving myself a shot every night for two weeks. Well, two shots every night for two weeks and going in for checkups every day. Like there was no time to process what was happening to me. I just had to keep going because there was no other option in my mind because I knew I wanted to have kids one day. They had my first chemo treatment scheduled for January 3rd. There's two different regimens of chemo when you have stage two breast cancer. Um, the first one is called AC. And the last one is T, which is called Taxol. AC is once every other week, so there's for two months. So you have basically four treatments. Um, that one, it starts very, very hard. Like I was nauseous, I was constipated. My mom had to like help me drink water. Like there was a lot going on. Um, as the weeks progressed, it got better. And then by the last round of AC, I felt like my regular self. Um, however, with Taxol, this one was every week. It was smooth sailing. I would go, I would feel like my regular self. But once we got towards the end of that treatment, after like once it reached like May, it started like whooping my I never got like sick physically, but there was a lot of fatigue. And then there's a lot of like mental things that you go through as well. We decided to treat my last day of chemo like it was my birthday. I bought a bottle of rosé to chemo with me. 
I planned to pop that and I had a ball of Ace of Spades, which I still didn't pop. I popped it right outside in front of the MSK sign and me and my friends all had champagne flutes and we drank some and then more friends met us later and we went to a rooftop and let's just say, <laughs> I got so glad that I lost my phone and my wallet. I'm really glad that I had all those people supporting me and they treated it like it was the biggest occasion. From the moment I felt the lump, I knew that I was gonna lose my boobs. I was a person who loved my body. I had no issues with it. Like I never wanted any kind of like alterations. So the fact that that choice and thing I was very confident in was taken from me did like a toll on me mentally, like the closer it got. I did get a double mastectomy, which means they take both your breasts off. So when they did the mastectomy, they said that they're, pre like they're pretty sure they got all of it. I also had to get some lymph nodes removed because they do a test while you're open on the table and see like if they detect any. Some did light up for cancer still, so they had to take that out. I think the worst is over. Breast cancer is a very, very, very treatable and in many cases curable disease. It basically sucks if you have a cancer diagnosis, but I think what's much different today and will be much different in the future that we have many, many different treatment options. The treatments can sometimes be difficult, but I think the results in terms of your survival and time with family and travel is critical. When you're going through a cancer diagnosis and going through a treatment, as much as you can to spend time around positive people, people that make you laugh, make you feel good, will also help your immune system and help you fight this battle of breast cancer. I think the biggest thing, and it sounds cliche to say, but it's not a death sentence. It's okay to be sad over your hair. You can still be sad about it. You can be sad because your life is changing and it's not your choice. Your body's changing and it's not your choice. You can be sad, be okay with mourning your body and grieving the life you once had. You will continue to do it, but don't feel guilty about it and don't let anyone make you feel guilty about that either. Take as much time as you need to get used to your new normal. If anyone makes you feel weird about it or like you need to rush, take your time because it's your life.